Hey guys, thanks for checking out the last episode in my Worship Pedal Board on a Budget series. This series has been about trying to get started playing electric guitar in your local church for 500 Canadian or less. That includes a guitar, all of your effects pedals, patch cables, power, and an amp, all for 500 or less. We have done it. If you want to see each episode, go back and watch those, see what we picked up, what we paid for it. Uh, today we're going to wrap it up by comparing my budget board with my full Sunday worship break. And there's about a $10,000 difference between these. So I'm going to give you a rig rundown for the cheap one and the expensive one. And then we're going to do a comparison between the two. So once again, thank you everyone, everybody who has watched the videos. I also do worship tutorials. If you want to uh, have a worship song tutorial that maybe you can't find online, shoot me a message. Uh, as always, I'd love it if you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit that rig rundown. All right, I will try to do this rig rundown fairly quickly here. So on the expensive side, we've got the Taylor McGrath Scarlet which is the Nigel Hendroff signature guitar. And I believe brand new, those go for about 4,500 bucks. Uh, I bought mine used off of a guy for 2,100 Canadian. Got a couple of instrument cables. I spent about 40 bucks a piece going from the guitar to the board and then the board to the amp. And then also connecting all of my boards, I bought a Boss kit to custom make all of your own cables that cost me about 200 bucks and I paid full price I bought that new all right going into the board we have got the boss volume pedal which I spent full price new uh, which was about 140 bucks out of there once I go to the polytune which new is about 140 dollars I spent 60 used going from their other side uh, is the Bondi 2026 compressor which I did buy new straight from Australia for $324 out of there we go to the JHS kilt version 1 which new was about $363 but I got it for three or 235 used from there to my second overdrive which another beautiful Australian pedal which I bought straight from Australia brand new for 290 bucks from there we go to the Prince of Tone which I use as a clean boost. Uh, I think it's about 250 new. It's hard to find a price uh, for it, but I bought it for 150 used. Going from there uh, is the JHS Panther Cub, uh, which goes now new for about $454. I bought it for 200 used. From there, I go to my timeline. Is 560 new I spent 400 bucks from there to the big sky 600 new I spent 450 dollars over to the ditto which I won't use in the demo today but it goes for about 254 new I spent 120 dollars um, and then underneath it's all powered by uh, a voodoo labs ISO 5 and a voodoo labs Digital, which is 160 and 190 each. I paid 80 for one of them, 90 for the other. And then my amp is this uh, Fender Twin, which I don't think they make anymore. Uh, the closest I could find at my lo local shop, kind of comparative uh, wattage, is uh, 1900. I bought this about 12, 15 years ago for 1400 bucks. And then to the budget rig, this beauty. Squire, Telecaster. Sorry, the, um, so the total price for the expensive rig was, brand new would be about $10,605. Uh, I'm into it for 6,519 Canadian. So the budget rig over here, we got the Squire strap, which brand new is $340, but I bought it for 175 beans. Canadian. Um, of course that tuner a guy threw in for free. My patch cables also thrown in for free. Power thrown in for free. And the instrument cables uh, I just grabbed some from a guy at church. Had some extras laying around uh, which would be about 20 bucks a piece 
that I got for free. So of course we go to my overdrive which is the Soul Food, 95 new, I'm into it for 65. From there the RV5 which they don't make anymore. Um, the RV6 goes for 180, I bought it for 90 bucks. And my crown jewel, this DD20. Uh, they don't make anymore, of course. I think they were about 200, maybe more than that new, but I'm into it for 120. And then this Trainer Dynagain 30 solid state, which I don't think they sell anymore. At the time they were 340, I'm into it 50 bucks. So the whole price for this rig, brand new, would be about 1,235 bucks. I'm into it for 500. So that's the rig rundown. Let's get to see, seeing how they sound. So I thought the easiest way to do a comparison between the two rigs would be to do some worship songs and uh, just play a couple lines on each guitar and see how they sound next to each other. So let's go ahead and play a few songs and see how it sounds.
Once again, thanks for watching the videos. Uh, we have talked about doing a thousand dollar rig to see, hey, what can we get for twice as much money? So if you've watched this far in the video, I would love it if you comment down below, if we do a thousand dollar rig, should I take the best of my $500 rig and put that towards it or should I scrap it all and start from scratch with a thousand dollar rig? Let me know what you think I should do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and God bless.